Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. And San Francisco gets set to go here. first down and his first pass here is going to fall incomplete he was trying to get it to George Kittle it's tight end and now it's second down there defensively to throw is Garoppolo Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. First down, 49ers. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Good sign here early. Everybody on offense there up front in the backfield in sync on that play. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage. Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Byron Murphy. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run. But I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Throwing on second and eight. Garoppolo, the first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 24-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. First down, Garoppolo looking for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo got the connection here to Bourne. Garoppolo. Five yards, now it's third and five. Rick Bourne. Five yards on the play, and it's third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Garoppolo again. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. This will be caught just inside the ten. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on it. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Good. Makes the score Niners 7, Cardinals nothing. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. Kenyon the tackle Drake. by Eric Armstead. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, Murray. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Brings up third down. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Nothing. have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Shotgun now for Murray. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 10 first down Arizona. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. 57 to 57 to On first and ten, here's Murray. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he'll get nothing out of that one. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage, no gain. To throw again on second down. Murray caught left side, Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. 
He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Defensive back out there now on third down. Looking to throw Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction. I was able to track the ball in another. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Samuel bringing in the slant. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. First down, San Francisco. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Hooking up here with Trent Taylor. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Garoppolo on first and ten. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Garoppolo now, first down throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Complete. A gain of six there on first. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Yard line. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Offensively, pretty good execution. Long drive, choose up the remainder of the first half clock, and they finish it off with three points. And what's the best byproduct of the whole thing besides the fact that they got points on the board? They didn't leave the other team any time to mount a drive themselves. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case... Are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution, or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And one. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. They stay on the ground with Drake. And some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one, as he just did there. On first down, Drake. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts, because he definitely needs some assistance. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second and 11 now. Murray out to his left. He'll run it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. Out of the gun, here's Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. 
He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. First down, Murray. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He's got the first down inside the 10. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, Murray. Sliding out, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top row. <laughs> I like it. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive starts with a handoff to McKinnon. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. He was tackled two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Cards will take over, first and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> And that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. 
Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. On second down. It's Drake, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Of Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. He may try and run for this. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him. And they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. Murray now on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Murray. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hopkins. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he's still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun, Murray. And this is going to be incomplete. Intended for Kenyon Drake. Incomplete. It's fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs, and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. From the 22, here's second and eight. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. Garoppolo's six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. A gain of six yards, and it's third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. It's now fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. It'll be a net of 40 yards. 
minutes following a punt of 44. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 10-7, just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Murray now on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right around the line of scrimmage. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. Back to throw, Murray rolling to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. San Francisco. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Yeah, another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground fighting his way down to about the 35 yard line give him three on the run there now they're looking at a third and about five and now the question everyone's wondering look at the clock late fourth quarter do they put the ball in the air here on third I don't. I run the football. I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Pass. Intercepted. After the turnover, here's Murray. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Murray to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He's got the first. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, 
a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.